with an economic crisis simmering here at home in the United States, uh, as we all know so well, why is it important for the president to head overseas? Asia is where American jobs are going to be created in the next 20, uh, 20 years. That's the bottom line. And the president knows this. He signed the chorus with the, the Korea. Korea Free uh, Trade Agreement. Exactly. Um, and he went to Detroit, talked about what that means to American jobs. Southeast Asia, uh, the APEC meeting, uh, he's going to extend that trade uh, agenda with the TPP and hopefully broaden uh, uh, a forward foot for American policy on trade uh, at APEC. And then he's going to go further all the way into Asia for the EAS. But American engagement in Asia is about uh, our economic future. So this matters at the dinner table. It matters where your mom and dad's jobs are. It matters where the kids are going to, uh, their jobs will be related to Asia when they, when they leave school. So that's very important. And then on the security front, um, uh, Secretary Panetta and before him Secretary Gates have been very clear that the fulcrum of American security focus in the world has moved from the Middle East to Asia. Um, so the president is going to the right place at the right time. Many people do think that, in fact, think this is all about trade and jobs. What's the strategic component? The strategic component is China. Uh, China is the world's, uh, will be the world's biggest economy uh, in the next couple decades. Its, its army and its military are threatening the sovereignty of, of some of the Southeast Asian countries and its neighbors. Um, maybe not, you know, maybe the Chinese don't mean that, but what the question is, we don't know what China is. We don't know what China wants to be. And the new security architecture, the new strategic architecture in Asia is to bring China into the neighborhood, bring them in as a friend, as a, as a, as a responsible player, um, and, and try to understand China better. And that's what the president is doing uh, at the East Asia Summit. That's new security architecture meant to, um, that includes the Americans, it includes the Indians, it's based on Southeast Asia. But importantly, what it is, is it's a, it's a way to bring China into the neighborhood in a peaceful way. One could argue that now more than ever, we need um, to tread carefully with the Chinese. How does the president thread that needle on such difficult issues and complex issues as uh, South China Sea and, and China's engagement there? Uh, I think if you talk to the China experts in our shop and, and around town, the way to handle that is to be very straightforward with China, be clear, be transparent, uh, and be consistent. So on the South China Sea, for instance, I think the president will, will bring it, the issue to the table at the East Asia Summit, and in so doing, uh, will be serious and consistent about the messaging that Hillary Clinton and Leon Panetta and before him Robert Gates put out, which was that we want to see disputes in the South China Sea resolved in a, in a peaceful way using international law multilaterally uh, where that's appropriate and that the Americans are interested because the sea lanes of communication, the sea lanes of navigation flow through those waters and they are critical to the United States future. Ernie, you have a new report coming out that you did uh, with uh, former Secretary of Defense uh, William Cohen uh, and uh, CSIS trustee Hank Greenberg. Yes. Um, the report's looking at building an enduring strategy in Southeast Asia. Um, what can the U.S. do better going forward in that regard? Yeah, thank you. Uh, the key message, I think, of the report is that in terms of security and business, the United States is, has a great foundation in Southeast Asia. The, the idea of our report and the, the way to have an enduring strategy for the region is to build on that foundation and provide, inst institutionalize our relationships with the ASEAN countries, do more on trade. We've had a gap there. We have not been leaders uh, of late on trade and economics. We need to get back to that um, quintessentially American trait, uh, which is leading on trade. And then the, I think the last thing, and this is really important, is political commitment and leadership, uh, a commitment to be engaged in Southeast Asia that doesn't happen just once a year when the president makes his trip to uh, to the East Asia Forum or to APEC, but a consistent message to Americans that Southeast Asia and Asia generally is important for future jobs, for our recovery, and for our security. And that's what this report uh, focuses on. Ernie Bauer, uh, thank you very much. My pleasure.